Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mirror your control curves from the left side to the right side or the right side to the left side and maintain behavior. Now, behavior is when you mirror your joints and you decide to hit the rotate Y or the rotate X. And when I go down on one with the other one selected, it follows along in kind of a mirrored fashion. This is usually what I want when I set an FK system up. I don't want to have one go one way, the other goes the other way, which is usually how it works. But at the same time, in order to create this effect, it's a little bit tricky. There's not any clear defined path on how to do it, and there's no button to click that just automatically does it for you. So to come up with a system to set this up, uh, it took a little bit of you know forum hunting and some techniques that I played with to try to get it. So I'm going to go and jump right into the tutorial and uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can feel free to uh, leave a comment or uh, PM me yourself. I think this is a pretty simple tutorial and I think you'll be able to follow along pretty easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set an arm chain up that is going to simulate what I would do for an arm uh, if I was going to make a rig. So I hold down X on the grid and then I go into the top view and I count one, two, three and then I go over here and I go a little bit out so there's a slight bend. Let's try there. One, two, three. Maybe here. Now, since I held down X here, I can go ahead and hold down X here. And then I hold down X here. And now we have a perfectly straight arm. And what I mean by that is I know because I did this orthographically, if I had just kind of drawn this in, this would probably be up here. Or this would be down here, and it wouldn't be on the same rotate plane, which would create issues when we create an IK. We're not actually going to create an IK, so it doesn't matter, but that's just how I like to draw my joints out. Now I go ahead and name them. So we have left shoulder, we have left elbow, left wrist, and left palm. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and mirror this. So we have skeleton and we have mirror joint and this is behavior this is what I was talking about okay this is what we want so that way if we want to bring both of the arms forward we just select both objects go this way and it works okay notice that I bring forwards I bring forwards it works okay now how do we keep this when we mirror well it's not a simple thing as you will soon see so let's go ahead and create a polygon cube and move that up. Maybe even right there. Okay. And we will create a CV curve tool, making sure that we have one for divisions. Hold down V. And I like to draw the bottom and then the top and then the front and then the back. And then I draw these uh, sides. And don't worry if you go over, you know, one thing too many times. It's just as long as you don't undersell yourself, you're fine. Okay, now this is another technique that I think you should pay attention to when creating this stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and modify center the pivot. I'm going to move this out. I'm going to delete this, and then I'm going to take the curve and I'm going to snap it using X to the center of the grid, and I'm going to freeze transformations on it. The reason I do this is now. Zero is actually zero. Now the world space is correct. So let's say that we wanted to match the world space for something else in like a script. And I go some weird orientation thing here. And then I go create locator. And then I go here and I say parent. And I zero everything out. Notice that it snaps and orientation is 100% correct. If we had not done that uh, freeze transformation thing, that wouldn't have worked because the information for 0, 0 would be over here. So when the locator snaps, it would have been like way over here. Okay, so that's just a clean workflow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and group this, and I'm gonna be moving the group from here on out, and we'll call this the control curve group. Okay, oh, here, let me kill that, all right. And I'm gonna copy this, this is just a technique. I'm gonna control V, get rid of group, and these are just little workflow things I do to uh, make things faster. All right, so we'll duplicate the group. And we're going to parent that. Zero it out. It's correctly oriented. Shift P. I'm going to make this smaller. Shift 
shape it out a little bit better. Okay, grab the group. While we're here, we'll go ahead and add shoulder. In fact, we'll even add a left shoulder to that. All right, duplicate it. Parent, zero that out. Shift P, take that shoulder and turn it to elbow. It's, no, it's being annoying. All right. I'm kind of blowing through this. Normally I would be a little bit more, uh, I'm, I wouldn't be quite as fast and see how it's kind of a typo there and that shoulder has a space, this one doesn't, but I don't, you know, I'm trying to blow through this so it doesn't take forever uh, for the tutorial. Alright, let's go ahead and make a circle, group it, left, wrist, control, group, and we'll copy that, control V, kill the group. Go back to the group, duplicate it. Actually, no. We will parent that. And zero that out. Hold down J. We're on the point mode. Holding down J to get uh, orthographic uh, rotation. Increase the size a little bit so it's easier to select. And we're good to go. Okay. So now we have wrist control. Notice that each one has a group where the information is stored. We can now shift P that out, and that is where the offset information is stored. This is very important. So take the offset, parent that to here. You could parent constrain it, but this is just the way I like to do things. I like to take the actual groups and parent that. And now we have an object. Okay. And the orientation is exact. You can see that if I were to select from here to here, it is exact. There's no jumps. That's what you want because everything matches. This is important for when you start dealing with scripts and auto FK, IK matching things and all that good stuff. All right, so let's take this object and we're going to create one more group and we'll call this group, uh, actually, no, undo. we to go all the way out to the farthest group and then we'll group that. And we'll call this the left FK control mirror group. Okay. Now, one way we could do this, let's say that we go, and this is what some people do. They go to, uh, let's see, the mirror group, they duplicate it, and you scale by negative x. Okay, but oh, we have uh, weird values here, so let's go ahead and freeze our scale. Okay, now those values are gone. Okay, you look and you see that there are no more weird x values. But look, we have no more behavior is gone. We're not getting proper behavioral, uh, you, know, you know, that's not what we want. Okay, so let's, let's undo that. Um, if we leave this here, we get what we want. It works. See? But look what happens. This goes down. That's fine. Uh-oh. You see how it's coming forwards when we go? We don't want that. That's, that's incorrect. In addition, if I go inside... To this object, notice that we get negative values here. We don't want negative values here. All right. So how do we solve this problem? Well, there's a couple ways you can solve the problem, and I'm going to show you uh, how to do this. So let's just go all the way up. We actually want this here. Um, we're going to go ahead and freeze transformations on this so that this is uh, correct. Okay. Good. Now. Right now, behavior doesn't work. But what we want to do is we want to take the information here and just plaster that onto here. So here's how we can do this. We're going to make a group, and we're going to call this null. We're going to call this the uh, shoulder mirror. And we're going to parent that, zero it out. We're going to make a null. We're going to call this the elbow mirror. And we're going to parent that and zero it out. And then we're going to make a group and we're going to call this the wrist mirror. And we're going to go here, parent that, and zero it out. Okay. Now, hit F, go 
go here, shift P that out. Now the information that creates that orientation is right there for us. All right. Elbow mirror, we're going to shift P that out. And shoulder mirror, we're going to shift P that out. Okay, so now this information holds all of our offset information. Now we take out of the mirror group, since we froze everything, we take the shoulder curve and we parent that under that. Take this curve and we freeze transformations. Now what we've done is we've said, I want you to take the information from this group, which is offsetted correctly, instead of your normal one. And what that will now do is give us proper behavior mirror. See? But there's a bit of a problem here. Let's say that we go down here and it looks like it's working. Okay, it looks like it's working, but here's the issue. Let's create a locator. And we'll move that over here, duplicate it, duplicate it. Okay? Now I'm going to be using a script to illustrate my concept here. I have what's called W Snap. This is a script from Sean Nolan. I use this for world space matching, and uh, this is important as a test because it's a very basic thing. It doesn't do anything really automated. It just snaps world space and allows you to copy, translate, and rotate values between one object to another. So what we're going to do is we're going to showcase a concept here. So I'm going to copy this, paste this, and it works. You see how it's oriented and it, and it does what it's supposed to do. So now we go here, copy this, paste this. Uh oh. It jumped up here. Why is that? Because the information of all this entire chain is based around this one shoulder mirror. That's why we made elbow mirror and wrist mirror. So now what we have to do is we have to take uh, the elbow main control curve here and we have to parent that to the elbow. And then we take the elbow and parent that to that. So now when we do this and we hit copy uh, here, create locator. That's good enough. Okay. So copy, paste. Right, because we didn't uh, freeze transformations. That's why. Okay. Modify freeze transformations. Okay. There. I'm going a little bit too fast. Okay, so now copy creates locator paste. Notice that the values are exact, okay? And it follows. And we do the same thing to the wrist. Take this object, go up one to the wrist group, parent that to wrist mirror, take wrist mirror, parent that to that. Uh, here, shift P out. Wrist mirror should be parented to that. Okay, something weird happened. Just put that out. Elbow control curve should be parented to that. Okay, we ran into a problem. Hold up. My uh, wrist group didn't work. Let me see. Okay, so wrist control needs to be grouped. Insert. Uh, left wrist control group. That gets parented to the wrist mirror, which gets parented to that. Wrist control group, modify, freeze transformations. Okay, cool. So now, if we create our locators, duplicate, duplicate, okay, grab these objects, notice that we're not getting that weird information, it rotates properly, okay. We're not getting that reversed whatever, and if we copy this, paste, 
copy this, paste, copy this, and paste. Notice that all of that transform information is correct. So if we had to do like a snapping script, everything would orient correctly and it would work. All right, so we'll grab uh, all this and zero everything else, and it works. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and now this is the way I do things. Also, some people are swear by orientation only. I like parenting constraining because it gives me free. Uh, instead of having to do a point and an orient to get uh, on certain things in order to get the snap. Oh. I had weird information on it, so zero that out. Zero that out. Oh, that's why. Okay. The group isn't there. Okay, cool. This is a, this is a great example. Uh, see how this has values on it? Um, that's because I was kind of trying to blow through this and I was going too quick for this. I'll show you a cool trick for how to get rid of values when you have a... a actual rigged object. Now this doesn't work with uh, when the constraints are active, so don't worry about that. Okay, so uh, we want this to be zeroed out in this position. So similarly, make a group, a null, call this the left wrist, actually we can even call this the left wrist uh, control group. No, whatever. Alright, and we're gonna parent that to that. Zero that out. Shift P. And then we take this object, parent that to that. Notice all the values disappear. And then this object, it's uh, parented to that. Okay, so it works. So now we get wonderful, happy, fun time. And it is zeroed out. See, we got rid of all those, those nasty values. Okay, so that worked. So that, that solves that issue. That's why that uh, jumped like that. And that works. All right. So as I was said before, I like to parent constraint. Constrain parent because it gives me free um, stretching. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, if I go down like this and I go down like this and I want to do F, or actually yeah, and I want to do uh, FK stretching, all I have to do now is make an attribute that ties into the translate X, and you see how it stretches. Okay. As opposed to having to set up a really complex, you know, um, point constraint that only works on one axis or something, something like that. So, constraint parent. Also, in order to do that, I would have to have an orient and a point constraint. Whereas here, I just have one constraint which does orientation and uh, gee, um, uh, rotation. Orientation, yeah. So anyway, as you can see, we get behavior, it works, and each individual object is not um, reversed. Okay, we go backwards, it goes backwards, we goes forward, it goes forward, it twists, it twists. Okay, and if you look, there are no weird uh, negative one values anywhere throughout this whole system. Okay, everything is one out as it should be. So this is a clean, uh, effective way that I've found and uh, I again I just refined kind of not refined but I sort of implemented the system on a few rigs before I made this tutorial and it's worked so far and as you can see it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward but it's information that if you didn't know it could be pretty difficult to uh, come up with on your own so if there are any questions on this um, please feel free to you know leave a comment send a PM all that's good um, I think this information is really going to help a lot of people because it's a basic thing, but there's not a lot of people that have made tutorials on how to mirror while keeping behavior, which is a pretty big thing. So I hope that this is as useful for you as it has become for me, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much.